Man, 10% TP is not much for this part of the game. Uh, what's the matter, Hermana? You hungry, though? You stupid. Are you stupid? Nothing's going down my throat is all. Koda is Koda. Koda is not stupid. Hermana, what's wrong? You don't look too good. Every time I remember that we're technically in the sea, I feel my brain go short. I see. So you really can't swim. I thought if I said that, you would have forced me into the water. If water's cold and gets into your nose, it'd be impossible for me to float in the water. Even though you were a dragon back then. I ain't a dragon now, I'm just a youngin'. So Hermana can't swim. Hermana really hopeless though. You're one to talk. Can you swim, Koda? Swim in that cold water that gets into your nose. Koda hates it though. Same. Koda's too smart to go in the water. Water's only for drinking though. Same. Seems like the thought of swimming practice is out of consideration for you two, huh? Well, we know Koda can't swim, so we can throw him into a lake or something if we get the opportunity. We know that's an option we can do. If he starts to annoy us. Hey, die. Bum, 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 bum. I was gonna over limit, but like, you're almost dead. What would be the point in that? There's the TP up I'm looking for, though. Vanilla ice cream is where it's at. I think vanilla ice cream is like 15%, so 15% is enough to be like, yeah, that's a big boost we need. Also, I love... No, not the spiders! Why Tales of Innocence? Get assessed. You had to bring the arachnid here. You just had to. The Pyroblitz is awesome. Love me some Pyroblitz. Which way would bring me to a dead end? Let's see if this way brings me to a dead end. Sure enough. He stole mushrooms. He will not be forgiven. What about my Gungaga mushroom suit? You know, I'm actually considering putting the game on hard. The only, like... Weak board. Japanese stew. The only questionable thing about putting it on hard is boss fights. Like, how are bosses gonna go? Because for the most part, bosses have been fine. But the enemy encounters are really easy. Like, they last like 10 to 20 seconds. So I, I feel like I might want to try hard mode, at least for the enemy encounters, and see how that goes. I was trying to power up, but I guess I didn't have enough TP though. I'm curious how hard mode would go. With enemy encounters, at the very least. We can even try a boss on hard and see how it goes. Ruka, there's something I want to give you. Have this. This is... It's called the Sorcerer's Ring. Ah, the classic. I believe that it could prove useful to you in your travel, so I brought it along with me. What was the last game with the Sorcerer's Ring? It was... Did Hearts have the Sorcerer's Ring? It might have been Hearts. Races doesn't have it. Zillia doesn't have it. Zeskiria doesn't have it. Berseria doesn't have it. Arise doesn't have it. Within this ring lies a strange power. With this, you'll be able to let loose an embodiment of your wishes of force. It was probably... It was either Hearts or Vesperia. You can use the Sorcerer's Ring by pressing square. Using this ring, you'll be able to light it until lamps yada yada. Thank you, Kongwe. If you're not afraid about it, let's continue. Am I just lighting all these? Oh, it doesn't last long, though. At first, there were two clay figures. When the light of those who gaze into the darkness is kindled, the door will be opened. What? Certain ones that need the light, I guess? 
Rocky home. Wait, I was in the air? I didn't think I was in the air. So how much is this cake? It's like 12. Which for innocence is expensive. Oh okay, yeah, hard mode seems like a good difficulty for enemy encounters. I think. I'm curious to see how a boss will go. We can even try that and see how it goes. Arch toast. Oh damn it, it flickered out again. If I may hazard a guess, I assume there might be a specific order in which we have to light the torches. So it seems. Now the question is, which order should we light the torches? Order, huh? I'm stumped. Anyways, why not investigate the area? Not a bad idea. Who knows? We might discover a solution along the way. Alright then. Now hurry up and keep your eyes open, boys. Let's solve this damn puzzle and get on with it. We'll be bottled. Might have to do with the way these are facing. Control character only. Win with no damage. Oh, does that mean I, like, have to stay as Ruka? Winning with no damage might be kind of tough. Playing this super careful. Oh, dang it. Stupid mission fail. Please die. We're so close to not getting hit. Which order do I want to put these in then? Two clay figures. In the light of those who gaze into the darkness is kindled, the door will open. Maybe there's one with two, and that's the one I need the light. Hey, what's up, Pranky? Welcome to the stream. I love Pyro Blitz. More of that. I just love how it like pushes the enemies. Ow, rude. Bum, bum, bum. Goodbye. We don't want to waste all of our vanilla ice cream ingredients. So do any of these have- this one has two. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm following the way they're facing. So I go this way. Then I go diagonal. Get the spider. Get the spider. The spider does not deserve to live. Hey, give it the laser beam. Deserved. You have 5,000 HP? Why? French Toast is another single battle only. Alright, so now I just follow this. I follow the way they're looking. Then I go this way. And I know it's right because if it was wrong, it would disappear. This one? Then here, wh whoops. Make a combo, 15 hits. I can probably do that with all my arts. How do I want to do this? Crescent Strike? Demolit- Maybe I want to go Tempest Strike because that's more hits. Can I go Crescent Strike, Demolishing Thrust, Tempest Strike, Pyro Blitz? Because that might be what I want to do. I messed up. Oh wait, it doesn't matter. The AI counts. <laughs> I forgot the AI counts as the combos, so like I didn't even need to do it, but I want to actually see. Easy. Get wrecked. I'm curious for my own... For my own curiosity, I wonder if I can make that combo. You get him up. No, no casting. You got the photo time off anyway, which is unfortunate. This is what I get for playing on hard mode. 
We had a character death. <laughs> A mission clear. Um, I'll make some ice cream here. Um, okay. What's hitting this one? Oh, Conway and Ricardo got another bond up. Dear me, that's quite a suspicious glare you're giving me. What are you talking about, oh shady fellow? Oh dear, I seem to be hated here. I don't hate you, I'm just being cautious for the sake of my client's safety. Cautious, why so? You're not a reincarnator, yet you can use CL and Arts. On top of that, you're traveling with us. It's just natural to be suspicious. I did mention that my spells are not CL and Arts. That said, are you really sure that caution is for the client's sake? What are you talking about? I wonder about that myself. Alright. Do I want to go for three hours or four hours today? Not sure. It is Easter, which I completely forgot about, because I don't really do anything for Easter. I literally don't do anything for Easter, so I just completely forgot it was Easter. Please die. But... I don't know, I guess we'll see how I'm feeling. Give me this ice cream. Wait, there was a- was there a chest there? It was on this side. Go for five just to be sure. Not today, but tomorrow for Rebirth I'll probably go five hours. Because I'm playing FF7 Rebirth tomorrow. I'll probably go five hours for that one. Most likely. Ow, ow. The stupid ghost. Stop. Bum-ba-bum! Dumb spider, get it out of here. Spider needs to go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, get him, Ange. Get him, Ange. <laughs> why, why'd you, why would you try to steal? You gotta stop doing that so much. He's died. Are you playing on playing the best Grandia, best Grandia game? The only way I play Grandia 3, I say this a lot, the only way I play Grandia 3 is if somehow someone bribes me. Which I know no one will do. <laughs> Which is why I say it. Played the game once and I would rather not play it again. Speaking of Grandia, I'm like, not mad per se, but I'm like, part of me is a little upset that the Grandia remasters came out on like modern consoles, and I had just done like playthrough, like reduxes of them, <laughs> because I really want to get the Platinums for those games. Although I got the physical version, so I don't have my copy yet, because I got a physical version of it, because I like having physical copies, surprise, surprise. So I don't think my copy is coming till like August, which is fine because I already recently replayed them. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I think there's a very good chance that um I play maybe Grandia 2 on the channel one day again. At least Grandia, maybe Grandia 1, both of them I would say, because that gives me an excuse to do other playthroughs of them. Sharpness Barrier, Roaring Spear, and Swallow Dance. Yeah, um, 
Back when I said the next time I played Grandia 1 again would be the Saturn version, I lied. The next time I play Grandia 1 again on the channel, or in general, is that PS4 version. Same for Grandia 2. Oh yeah, I would definitely- I would get the Platinums on stream, for sure. And Janai. Grandia 1 without mana eggs and starting weapons only? That could be fun to try. Grandia 2 without skill books. If I did Grandia 2 without skill books, I would do normal mode. You've grown, Ruka. Huh? What? What do you mean? You have feelings for Elia, do you not? Hey, we were just lovers in our past lives, that's all. However, according to Spada, there's something between the two of you, correct? He was just kidding about it. It's not like I, um... I wonder why he's hiding it. Look, I love Grandia 1 and 2. I really do. I'm going to do... Like, I, I think I'm basically confirming that they will be on the channel again via the PS4 version. It's not going to be anytime soon, though, because we, I literally just played them. <laughs> like... <laughs> recently like january and february i spent playing them and i have a lot of other games i want to play whether i played them and they need to get playthroughs or i just need to play them for the first time but it will happen for sure because i want to get the platinums and what better way than to just have it be an excuse to play them again What a big drawing. I wonder what it is. How long has it been here? It looks like it's been here for ages. There's also the seal and handwriting we saw in back in Regnum Caves. It appears to be quite similar. Let me try and read what it says. In the beginning, neither Terra nor Cielo existed, only the great god of creation. In order to cure his eternal solitude from his flesh, he brought the world and gods and both lived together for a long time. But as the time passed, the number of nasty gods grew, and some came to loathe their existence, and they were banished, dividing the land into Cielo and Taro. Uh, Saint Ange, can you please explain it in, um, simpler words? According to the mural, Cielo, I mean all of the world, originated from the primordial giant. Yo, he's eight. Primordial giant? You mean the huge person on the left? Correct, the creator of this world. In the beginning, there was nothing, only the giant. And the giant felt lonely, so he created the world and the gods from his own body. Afterwards, the gods that the giant created first prospered, but eventually, bad gods started to appear. That's why the gods of Cielo created Terra as a means of separating the bad gods from them. They were exiled, stripped of their powers, and as time passed, those, these bad gods became what we call humans. So, the gods that fell from Cielo are on the right. But in the end, we never realized that we were descended from gods, right? We know, since we remember from our past lives. If we think about it that way, re reincarnators aren't all that special, since everyone else is supposed to be reincarnated. No, that's not it. Reincarnation was only supposed to take place in Cielo. Since Terrans aren't gods, they weren't supposed to reincarnate. Terran souls are harvested by the Reapers to be used as part of Cielo's foundation. The existence of Cielo's souls in Terra should not be possible. The duty of carrying Terran souls was once my past self, Hypnos' job, I'm sure of it. But Cielo's souls are in Taro. We're living proof of that, right? We may be in Taro, yet we have memories of Cielo and are as powerful as we used to be. We also have Cielo and Arts. That's what I can't make sense of. Why is it like this? It may be related to the destruction of Cielo. When Cielo got destroyed, the souls were supposed to return here. But why? Wasn't this legend passed down the among Terrans? There's no way everyone would know about it. Well, it is one of the church's secrets. If everyone knew they descended from Cielo, establishing a religion would have been impossible. Isn't that kind of evil? The church distorts the truth just to spread its religion? I understand why you would feel that way, Spada. However, the church is acting for the sake of man's well-being. Oh, are they now? Should the humanity think of themselves as gods, they shall grow lazy and arrogant. Yet now, thanks to the fracture, our belief is slowly becoming antiquated. You know, you played Lunar, I respect it. That's right, I wanted to unify Cielo and Taro, not only that, but I remember telling Inanna about it, that Ashura was one, once wanted to unify Cielo and Taro. I think Ange is a big fan of Lunar. I can respect it. Or Grandia too. 